Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, January 9th, 2020. It is Football Thursday over at DocSports.com and I'll explain myself on that in just a minute if you're new to these videos. First, a quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, get a $60 free account right now. All you gotta do is click on the link below the video, get yourself signed up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Also, a quick note, this week's football, half price, half price this week's football package. And that includes the NFL Divisional Round Playoffs that start on Saturday, four games, two on Saturday, two on Sunday. It also includes Monday night's college football championship games. So again, half price this week's football package over at DocSports.com. We are on a nice 59% winning run, college football, NFL combined, going into now 12 weeks on this run, 48 and 33 is the record. So don't miss out, man. We got a, a nice card available for this week, and that's going to be posted today, Thursday. It'll be available 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, DocSports.com exclusively. And by the way, um, I do have a seven-unit play on this week's football card, so don't miss out. And again, it's half price at DocSports.com. All right, listen, uh, we got back in the win column last night. We cashed a big seven-star play, top play, uh, on North Carolina in the first half over Pitt. We felt that Carolina would come out, take care of business, extra motivation, all that kind of good stuff. After the way they played against Georgia Tech, they were down 30-6 to against Tech before they made their first field goal in their previous game. We heard Roy Williams uh, really apologizing to Carolina fans and talking about his team, saying they aren't the most talented team he's ever had, which I don't agree with saying that if you're the head coach. But we also thought that North Carolina would be highly motivated and be fired up at the start of the game against Pitt. We just didn't know that it would last through the entire second half. Motivation only gets you so far, even in major college basketball. And then talent and the way teams are playing, their effective ability uh, over the course of the game takes over. So we got the win in the first half. Thanks for those who jumped on board. You saw what happened with that North Carolina backcourt really under par for the heels program. Uh, they've got a couple of injuries. They did not play well over the final 10 minutes of the game. Pitt got the win, but again, we got our seven-star win with that first half play. Overall, a winning night. We picked up a bit of a profit, and we got back in the win column here on the free pick report as Georgia Tech plus the points got the cover over the Duke Blue Devils. Georgia Tech in that game. Looked like they might have had a chance to win outright a couple of minutes to go in the game, but uh, all we cared about is getting the cover, and we did. Free pick for us coming up in just a moment. Real quick note, off that uh, winning night last night, we are now 67% college basketball with our last 28 college basketball plays. We're going back, oh, about three or four weeks now with this run. And also wanted to mention that we've got a six-star play going on Thursday. I've got two college basketball plays available Thursday morning, DocSports.com, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, and one happens to be an elite-level six-star play. Don't miss out on that. That. Passing in the NBA on Thursday, uh, however, and the line's not out yet in that Boston game, but uh, we think Boston is going to uh, take Philly on Thursday in all likelihood, uh, but no points spread out right now. Uh, but you know, might want to check that one out. Boston got embarrassed by San Antonio on Wednesday night. No Joel Embiid, it looks like, for Philly on Thursday. But uh, thinking about that one a little bit, but uh, I doubt very much that we're going to be involved in that game. Just a heads up, Embiid's out in Boston off the embarrassing loss. Uh, I will be in NHL action. We passed yesterday, but back in NHL action, and that play will be available at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So again, college basketball led by the six-star play, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, DocSports.com. Passing in the NBA, NHL at 1 p.m. Eastern at DocSports. And again, it is football Thursday. Not too many of those left. And uh, we'll have our plays up at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on Thursday for the entire weekend of NFL College Football Championship on Monday night. Hey, let's get to the betting report, by the way, and then I'll jump into our free pick in college baskets. Uh, but I want to jump into the football betting report. Right now, San Francisco, of course, uh, getting about 55% of both the tickets and the money at home to Minnesota. We saw an injury. Adam Thielen uh, injured his ankle on a Wednesday in practice. We'll find out more on Thursday, hopefully, if he's going to be a go for the Vikings. He was targeted nine times by Kirk Cousins in that game last week in the win over New Orleans. We had Minnesota in that one. Uh, had seven receptions on those nine targets, and he received for, uh, I should say, didn't receive four, but caught 
five for 129 yards in that game. So obviously a huge cog to this offense. We'll see more about his uh, availability and how serious the injury is, I'm guessing, on Thursday afternoon. Uh, but San Francisco get about 55% of the tickets and the money in that one, laying a touchdown and an extra point. Baltimore sitting about nine and a half at home over Tennessee. Uh, they're getting over a little bit over half the money is Baltimore overall since day one when this line opened, 54% of the tickets. Houston, Kansas City, uh, that particular spread is currently sitting about nine and a half KC. Uh, they're getting about 51, 52% of the tickets, about 56% of the money in that one. And then Seattle at Green Bay, they are currently uh, laying four of the Packers in most shops. Seattle, by the way, getting 58% of the tickets and about 55% of the money. And as far as that NFL, excuse me, as far as the college football championship on Monday, still one-sided betting. LSU as high as six. Uh, remember, there was one particular site that actually put out a hypothetical before the semifinal games were played and had Clemson as a one-point favorite if this would be the matchup. Uh, but LSU now laying six in that one, getting about 75% of the tickets and the money. And uh, if it continues to go that route and they continue to get one-sided action, this will end up being the uh, most lopsided action that they've taken in a college football playoff game uh, so far. In fact, uh, the most lopsided action thus far was 63%. It happened three times in college football playoff games, but this one would take the cake and do so by a wide margin if LSU keeps getting the one-sided action. We'll have a couple more thoughts on football on Friday and Saturday and, of course, Sunday's video, so be sure to check it out. Let's get to our free pick. Uh, for today's card for Thursday night. And uh, what we're going to do is we're looking at the battle between Arizona and Oregon. Pac-12 action on Thursday night where Oregon's laying about four points. A couple of shops have three and a half. But uh, we think that this Arizona team has the backcourt uh, to be able to hang with Oregon and potentially pull off the upset. Uh, this one kid, uh, Nico Mannion, right now for Arizona, I'm sure if you follow college basketball closely, you have heard of him. He's a standout point guard, uh, averaging about 14 points per game, over six assists per game, which is pretty significant for college basketball. And his, uh, his assist to turnover ratio is better than two and a half to one. And as Sean Miller said, he's gone after this season. He's going to declare for the NBA draft. But currently, they've got him on the floor, and he heads a decent backcourt talented backcourt and I think they can play well and offset Peyton Pritchard in the Oregon backcourt which is again so important to being able to hang with the Oregon Ducks especially in Eugene on their home court I make the coaching uh, I guess matchup you could say between Miller and Dana Altman even and I think the backcourt is even so listen on a neutral floor I actually make Arizona a short favorite in this one I know you got to fa factor in Oregon's home court advantage but I think Arizona catches them here so uh, we're going to recommend the Arizona Wild Cats plus the points over the Oregon Ducks in Thursday night college baskets. Don't forget about the big card on Thursday. Football Thursday. Football plays loaded at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific at DocSports.com. Don't miss out on that college basketball six-star play. 67% with their last 28 in college. We'll have that six-star play available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern along with our other play in college basketball. Let's go 2-0 on Thursday. That'll do it for us for Thursday. Again, the free pick, the Arizona Wildcats in college baskets. We'll have some NFL, some football videos along with basketball videos over the next couple of days, so be sure to check that. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Let's put Thursday in the win column right back here Friday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.